Howdy y'all, it's your host Rogue, welcome back to Love of Games. We're going to continue our journey of Life is Strange 2 uh, today with episode 5, Wolves. We are currently in the middle of the away camp with Sean and Daniel. And uh, we just finished building a sculpture. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to see what we can get into today. So I hope you enjoy. Yeah, this is a sculpture we just made with Joanne and Daniel. Not quite sure what we're supposed to do. Before. Running around for now. Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Here we'd be able to talk to Daniel, but hey, draw. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks. Oh no, people I'm you meet. Sick of the bullshit. A lot of the people you meet on the road are some of the best down to earth people you'll ever meet. What? You don't shit where you sleep, Stop. kid. I okay, David. Super cool Thanks for the explanation. To Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Treasure hunt? Ten four. Okay. You're on it, I know. Yes. Great, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. Wings that cannot fly. That's your clue? You One male. do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Many wings cannot fly, can only be the windmill. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Solar panels. Sure. <laughs> Not too far. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Yeah. Uh, I think Karen had solar panels. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. I can pick one up. You're lost, Sean. Getting warm? Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yes. Then I could be zomboy fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. So, windmill, the Karen's house is over here, so the cars. Found it. Nice. And it's a 
tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. All right. Is in all these cars. Getting closer. I don't know which one. Guess Get people came here on. with ease and never left. Just grab it. You're here. Treasure. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. That's cool looking. Yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Oh, yeah. Come on. You asked for it. Swear to dance with no music. Alright. Uh, is there anything else we're here to look at? I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Where does she come in at? Don't want to get run over by Karen. You say that, but I don't even see her. Oh, there she is. Dude, she's driving like a bat out of hell. Well, she was. Now she slowed down. See that truck. This is such a weird fucking place. But that's what's cool about it. Glad to see you survived the night in the desert. 100% did hey, not need up? the horn. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. It was amazing. So many stars. And so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. Oh. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. The baseball. You catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. 
Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. They've been camping most of the time. Animals or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I yeah. try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. We're brothers. Maybe I even fucked him up more. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> it's David Madison. We never got along. She was angry. I didn't catch that. That's David stupid. Madison. We were like oil and water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. <laughs> but we eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. So he's from the Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storm. I'm delivering now. Found some weird snacks in town. He stepped in. He's a freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. <sighs> okay, time out. Looks like he finally got the I'm stick out of his ass. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. They should totally use She's so cool. You think? Daniel's power to clean Joanne up all so the cool. junk. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. Why does it keep going to the right? Just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. All right, there's a lot here. All right, first of all, birthday cake. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. Shopping list. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Down to coffee beans, no decaf, trail mix, mousetrap, watermelon. Choco crisp, baking soda, foot powder. Shea butter, turmeric, ibuprofen. Condoms, USB cord. Dry cat food sunscreen, measuring tape, AC filters, roasted nuts. Hope my crops will make it. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their Same love statue. for pancakes. That woman is amazing. It never let me even mess with this when I walked in here earlier. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Like that sounds good. I never tried that. 105 degrees out here. Do I not need to put it away? Just bringing it in's good. Better get up a cold one with the mom. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get near space. They have their own past, too. That's why people come here from all over the country. 
for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Daniel should totally make a fort out of all the abandoned metal and cars. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. And she drove you to the desert the way the heck out here? She's long gone now, but... Wow. Her name is still written all over this place. <sighs> well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. That makes me think something happen. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Call her mom. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? We literally just hiked the canyon. Let's pack then. Two very uh, strong phallic structures right there. But yeah, with Daniel's power, he could totally make one heck of a cool fort with all the cars and band and stuff there. We should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <laughs> Agent Ramirez? Oh. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> All right. Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys. What's up? Check this out. Now this is nature's art. Looks like exactly like where we were earlier. It's so big. He's pushing me out the way. Pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh! Uh oh. I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. No. The hunters better be careful of super wolf. This is exactly where we were earlier. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah. I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. 
We're literally going exactly where we were before. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> you can see the fire from where we camped I, earlier. It's the best spot. Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just really? Know I love both of you so much. You're making it sound like something yeah. happened when you went to town. Lately, but it'll be better. When you're settled. Uh, by the way, uh, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But. I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well, figures. This can last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? Yeah, I knew it was odd the way she was acting. That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. It looks like newspaper. Oh, it's Whoa, those lanterns. Awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Oh, that's neat. So Karen ended up being a better mom than I thought she was going to be. I legitly thought she was going to say, yeah, the feds are coming. Told them where you were.
I guess now we're going to have to continue to run. Take care of the leaky faucet, you're losing a lot of water. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. Such we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me, too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. That is bullshit. Don't give up. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. I don't know. Tad didn't raise us this way. It fucking kills me that we had to do all those things. To survive. Yeah. I didn't want to become a criminal. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. It's at Seattle to away. You just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right, I'm gonna... Go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. You. Um, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. You totally should not be turning yourself in. Uh, yeah, we'll write to Karen. Call her mom. I actually love hey, that. mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It took me some time, but... I think I get... Why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. You've done your best for us. And don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it. One day. Once the dust has settled. Take care. And talk soon. Sean. Dang. Ew. 
Leave as is. That may come back to bite us if the police are coming through here. But. Figures they'd be looking for us. After all we did. Oh, shit. They wouldn't have any idea about Joe and Aunt, or about uh, not Joe, uh, Aaron. They would have questions about Daniel. Should go see what David wants now. We're looking around, cause still can't believe she's kept it. The last time we see Ma. All right, I don't know which one David's is. It's probably this big trailer up here. This place has too many adults, but I'm gonna miss it. Is this one's David's? Assuming. Yes, that is David's trailer. School bottle opener alert. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm gonna take care of you, little buddy. The old David Madison. <laughs> Sean. Hey. Aaron said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Never thought he'd be one to swap out plates like that. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. Do Will's Diner. Yeah. Me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Hmm. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Chloe and Max. And Chloe doesn't have blue hair. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Yep. David is ready for that. Beans. Apocalypse. Or whatever. Beef ravioli. Wow, that's actually a nice setup you got right there. Brings me back to Frank's RV. Must be his wife. <laughs> Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Yeah, there's Chloe with blue hair. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. So, dear Mr. Madison, encloses your most recent deposit statement from the city of Arcadia Bay. As per your negotiated settlement for damages, please ensure the amount is accurate and the bank has processed the latest deposit. If you have any questions, please contact us. David Bear, Oregon. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Because he wanted to be police. Okay. How does this thing work? Go from 40 to 160. Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. How do I... I get that, but how do I change it? It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. I 
after all this time in a community. Oh, that's how you do it. That's all I'm saying, folks. But uh, still not the right one. Come on. Wait, is this it? Sam's? <laughs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. All right. Leave her here. Old Mr. Madison. Look at the map and actually get an idea where we're going. And now we're going south, which is pretty easy to figure out which direction south, but. And your mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? Yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right, this is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while, but Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure, I think so. Sean, you have to know, the police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. They literally could have fixed up one here. of those cars, I'm sure. Have a seat. He's very mechanically inclined. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane, well, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost. Everyone else. That's Jeez. sad. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. But Chloe always wanted to get out. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on. Hippie David seems cool. Like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them and we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. That is true. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You should have came you're forward in Seattle. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up. 
and face the law. You should turn yourself out. I might. Hundred percent, you should have from day one. You should never have ran. After I see what happens with Daniel, I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? Hey, here. Oh, shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. I'm kind of curious if he's talking to his daughter. How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed then. Nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> yeah, it is Chloe. That's cool. Don't know, I did a good job adding that in. Solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by. You only hear part of the conversation, but it's still nice to hear. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas, that'd be cool. We're gonna just listen in for a minute. See if we get any of the story. Take care then. Wish Max luck for me, okay? Bye bye. Love ya. That's all Chloe has as family anymore is step douche. Alright. Well, that was interesting to hear for a second. Please. Please don't let the cops come looking for us out here. Let's check you out. Right? You already know they are. Leave away. What's up, Karen? Hey. Oh, need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> you hotwired pretty Esteban good. Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be too. He wanted you to find yourself. He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard. But he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. You should have ran to begin with. Where we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming and we don't know where it comes from but you do know your brother you'll be there for each other uh i'm not sure i can do that just want this over none of those are good options i 
I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. Yeah, he did. You're gonna have to learn to trust him. And let go. Even if that scares you sometimes. Maybe you're right. They give you options to be a real dick to your mom. Like always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. All right. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. I don't know if there's anything else left to do. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. Talk to them. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. <laughs> Thanks. But the sooner we cross the border, the better. No worries. No worries? Bullshit. That's all we're gonna do until you make it. We will. Thanks to you. And everyone here. You gave us a place to breathe. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? You'll try, but that is dangerous as all get out. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. All right, so now he's got Joanne, and we should be good. Damn. If she's over here. I don't know. Hey. What's going on? Mm, um taking a look at this baby with hindsight so what do you think looks very cool I can totally tell what you're doing <laughs> good that makes one of us but I like it of course you and Daniel you did inspire me I love it so you guys leaving now yeah just wanted to say goodbye uh, that's sweet you're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's cool. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. He is a wolf. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. We're ready to bolt out of here. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. I know, sweetie. Joanne, Daniel, Sean. 
I had so much fun and inspiration building all these things with you. Me too. It's the first time I used my power to actually build something. So, map, Jacob's letter, Joanne's wolf. We got whatever that is. Oh, that was the shiny object. That was the reward. Looks like there's two more souvenirs. It's a nice photo. What did he find the time to do all this? Can't read what that one says. Be art, do crimes. Cool to hang out with Joanne a bit. Crimes, crimes. Go full turp. Last night away. Well, David bought some for Daniel. Uh, all right. Well, just a fun destroying stuff with it. Hey, don't worry. Let us get another chance to work together. Head out. We said goodbyes. The swap. Oh, they got the swap box. That's cool. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Swap boxes are neat. Everyone hooked us up from their own stocks. So we won't have to stock. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah, kind of sad. I know. He's going away yeah. from away. We have to, and I know. Come here. Are we there yet, Mom? I, I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair. But you're brave and strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. Just watch out for your power, Daniel. And your big brother. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Sad. Because she's planning on turning sure. herself in and going to jail. She didn't do anything. Yeah, hug Karen. Thanks, Mom. For being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Probably the last time you ever see each other. Let's hit the road. Hopefully you got plenty of gas. This hurts. Bye everybody. Little communities like that usually have really down-to-earth cool people. She said it's several hours to the border. They're there, and they're by the Grand Canyon. That's northern Arizona, so they got quite a ways to travel. 
Now, honestly, it would be best for them to do it in a two to three lake trip running only at night. Hey, is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. You're gonna We're like strangers. Establish a new home base. Forever. We can live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? What do I do for fun? They'll find new kids there, I'm sure. No worries. We do have some cash. And a power, right? We'll figure it out. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Six years of Spanish. Well, I don't retain okay. very much of it anymore. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. It's, the desert has its own special beauty. I grew up in the plains, but I've been through the desert, through the mountains. Nehru showed me the forest of up north, the northeast. I'd love to see the forests in the northwest with the giant oaks and stuff. I really feel it's dangerous you driving all of it during the day. the border yeah that looks so big yeah it's sad that we have that fence dude it's just a giant fence except it won't keep us in Honestly, freaking Daniel could just blow it apart and you drive across. All units be advised. After the raid on the way, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean, why would they arrest mom? Why? So they can give her shit. She yeah. didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. They better. I'll teach them a lesson if they don't leave us alone. This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. 
Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Uh, hey. Sean? Yeah? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? No. Nope. Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. Racism? That sucks. Alright. Well, we can see our supplies and stuff. I don't know what we're quite supposed to do just yet. I don't want to go up to the wall and start a big ordeal just yet. This is the opposite of Seattle. So we're actually going to call it an episode here. And we'll see if we can do something to get through this wall in the next one. I don't know if we can have Daniel blow it apart or if we find an opening or how it works. Because all of our groceries and supplies are in the vehicle. But we'll figure it out. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think, and hopefully on our next episode, we'll be in Mexico. So, I'm real curious what you think of the story so far. Tell me in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys later. Peace.